split. Flingo! Bingo! Trooper! And Sparky! Good bananas cross with the green light. Now, today, the Banana Splits Club will study the bylaws. Why? Well, because bylaws are important, that's why. I've heard of in-laws and outlaws, but I don't dig bylaws. And I don't mess with outlaws. Gosh, Flea, in-laws can give you trouble, and outlaws can give you trouble. So why take a chance on bylaws? Good thinking, Drew. All in favor of outlawing in-laws, outlaws, and bylaws, Vote by honking Snorky Snozzle. You know something? I'd like to say bye-bye to these bylaws and so long to these silly bananas. <laughs> Sack is filled. We can return to camp. <coughs> what is it, Zazu? <coughs> so the desert rats emerge from their holes. You are surrounded, big oaf. I advise you to give up peacefully. Bah! Your advice is wasted, Bangor. As you wish. Take him! I think it is time for a sandstorm. <laughs> ah, ah, the sand! I can't see! <laughs> Bunglers! He is only one man! Get him! After a sandstorm, a good bath is needed. You win, Rasim. I offer a truce. A truce? How can you be trusted? By laying down my weapons. You can make terms of peace for the Arabian Nights with the Black Sultan himself. Agreed. Excellent. A car awaits with it. I warn you, Bangor, no tricks. You have my solemn word. What's this? An empty tent. Another of Bangor's deceptions. Now we have him. Cut the ropes. <laughs> Quickly, find him! But, Vangor, what of the floppy-eared beast? Let him return to the Arabian Nights. They will learn of the capture of Rasi, and that will bring Turhan to Baghdad and the trap that awaits him. Zazum's return alone from the waterhole means just one thing. Yes, the Kaz guards have captured Razim. We must go to Baghdad and free him. It will be dangerous, my prince. Yes, for Razim, it's a danger we must risk. Not you, Nida. You'll remain here with Zazum. Bez, get us to Baghdad as fast as possible. As you command, Turan. Size of a flying horse. On to Baghdad. I wish we could go. Good luck. Behold. This 
is what becomes of the enemies of Baghdad. Are you ticklish, big ox? <laughs> Bagar, you shall pay for your foul deeds. Turhan will avenge me. It goes according to plan. My men are positioned and waiting for Turhan. Make sure you do not fail, or else... Was that quick enough? For Razim's sake, I hope so. We must separate and meet inside the city. Good luck, my friends. In smoke, Rosanne Cobar. He has vanished. Huh. But this time we are ready for his tricks. We have him. <laughs> the quickest way out of here is through that hole in the wall. Size of a mouse. Performance, Turhan, but unfortunately, your last. We have captured those who would bring harm to Baghdad. And now you shall witness the fate of those who oppose the mighty Makar. <laughs> have you any last words, Turhan? Only these, Bakar. I vow to rid the land of your evil rule, and I swear it shall be done. <laughs> you talk as if you have lost your head, Turhan, and in a moment you shall. Begin with the big one. Off with the traitor's head. Stop! Move on, old one. You're in the way. Not until justice is dealt to the enemies of Baghdad. I said move on and take this sorry-looking beast with you. <laughs> Zazoon! And Nida! Quick, Nida, down! Good boy, Zazoon! Now to free the knights! Ready your arrows! There! Quickly, off the platform! I have a use for it! Fire! Here are your arrows back! Nice work, Razim. Now if you'll give me a lift. Guards! Shoot him down! Bez, it's time we flew out of Baghdad. As you wish, Turhan. Size of a flying horse. Turhan! 
didn't Bakar say that cage was for enemies of Baghdad? Yes, Farik. Then before we go, Kazim Kobar! You'll pay for this, Torhan! A splendid gesture, Farik. And a true one, Nida. Yes, and one day we shall rid Baghdad of Bakar forever. Turhan, we forgot Sazum. Ha <laughs> ha, don't worry, Rasim. Molim Kobar. You've shrunken him. Only until we reach camp. Then I'll return him to normal size. And no matter what Zazum's size, he still has the biggest heart. Agreed. <laughs> You're watching Boomerang from Cartoon Network. What? You're watching Boomerang from Cartoon Network. Well, Bingo, I have made some changes in Mildred's gears, and now she's ready to do anything you ask her. Well, okay. Mildred? Make me look like a TV star. You are a TV star. Well, back to Jolly Stone Park. <laughs> what did you do to Bingo?
Tom go? Come on. Hold it. Hold it. You put up a pretty good fight for a man just washed up on the beach. I, I thought you were... Well, I know what you thought, but you didn't give me a chance to tell you any differently. My name's Elihu Morgan. You can forget the first part. The last will do five. Link Simmons. Chango, this is Link Simmons, a new resident to our happy little island, home away from home. Chango says he's very glad to meet you and hopes you enjoy our simple hospitality. You tell Chango I'm proud to meet him, too. And... <coughs> You've already told him. He hears fine. He just can't talk. <coughs> Excuse me, Chango. Chango can talk perfectly, only not with his mouth. I mean, sometimes those uh, bird calls and cat calls and whistles <laughs> try to Chango says we should go and get some rest and sleep and uh, food. In fact, food sounds pretty good to me. I think we got some steak and lobster back here. Hungry, champ? Huh? You'd get something to eat, too. How you feel, Link? Great. This pretty cool as I heard of those bruises. Oh, that's made from a private recipe. Uh, it's made from bat's ears, uh, snake toes, uh, Bug eyes, fish tails, and... Uh... <laughs> now I'm putting you on, man. It's, it's, it's made from herbs and roots from some uh, plants that Chango and I found during the first year on the island. You hungry? Yeah, star. Come on, let's eat. No, uh, no hamburgers or pork chops. <laughs> Chango, what are you doing here? You know you're supposed to be on guard duty. So it's all clear and you're hungry? So eat. This is great. What is it? Well, what is it, Chango? That's a no-no, Chango, and you know it. You're never supposed to do your laundry in the Hey, how'd you and Chango get here anyway? Oh, uh, we were merchant mariners on a ship that got blown off course during the typhoon. Shipwrecked, huh? Nope. Raiders. They boarded us, killed most everybody, threw the rest of us overboard. Figured we'd end up shark food or just plain drown. Chango and I are the only ones that made it to the island, I think. One of these guys, a great big tall cat with a beard, thinks he's a pirate. Yeah. They called him Mutant. That's him. That's the same bunch that boarded our ship. Man, what I wouldn't give to get my hands... Forget it. I mean, this island's so far away from everything that chances are we'll never be picked up by anybody, even them. What's the matter with you, John? Go get our man some, uh, some clothes. There's plenty of stuff in there. Don't any ships ever pass by here? Well, sure, but uh, I see during the past uh, three years, there's been maybe two. Oh, you're right, John Go. There's been three. And that's just what they did, pass by. And you didn't try and signal them? Well, sure, but we only got two flares left and... three flares left. And, of course, I don't want to use them on account of, like, uh, they won't see them and somebody else will. Somebody else? You mean there's other people on this island? Yeah. Natives? Yep, and not what you'd call the friendly type, either. I mean, they collect things. They collect things? Yeah. Things like? Like heads. Heads? Heads. They do? They do. Headhunters? <laughs> yes? What is it? I have a bamogram for a Mr. Flegel. Well, I miss the Flegel, but what is a bamogram? A bamogram is sort of like a telegram. Only instead of getting a message, you get a bam. I've got to stop asking silly questions.